hi guys i welcome you in this wonderful video so today i'm gonna be addressing one simple question that we usually ask ourselves as traders more especially price action traders we wonder sometimes that why is our analysis not working because we tend to analyze the market correctly we see the structures correctly we see the trends the patterns everything but then it turns out that our analysis doesn't work right? so i believe that this video is gonna help you in uh, answering that question so let us get started let's say as a trader you observe this market right? you observe the structure of a market and let's say you determine some key levels we have uh, a high there i will not pay much attention into that high or those highs because they are far away from where price is at at the moment now what i'm going to pay attention into it is this support levels here i'm going to extend them as you can see like that let's say you see that okay price have touched this uh support level multiple times now it's one two and let's say that you want to enter your your uh your market now for for this for this example let's assume let me just put that tool there let's assume that price is uh, still around there ne? let's assume that price is still around there and you want to enter this market ne? the most common thing that we're going to do is that we're going to anticipate a sell and we are not wrong by anticipating a sell why because we, we show that we know what these levels can do ne? levels which were previously support we know that they are likely to turn and become a resistance so we are not wrong by anticipating a sell here and then we'll go on further to examine this pattern this channel here that is playing out as this corrective wave ne? and what are we gonna do we're gonna then wait for a breakout and then when it gets broken that's where we're gonna execute our trades ne? and then i want you to see this mistake that we usually do which i'm gonna point out at this moment we are victims of these mistakes now i know a lot of us even me myself included now what we're gonna do is that we observe the key levels which is very very important and then we ignore levels like this one ne? we tend to ignore this level why are we ignoring this level because as far as the price is concerned we see this level as minor because the key levels are very very obvious in this case it is that one and it is these ones here which really uh contributed to major moves of the price so we'll then ignore these very very smaller moves and yet these smaller moves they play a very very big role when it comes to analyzing or changing the direction of the price name so then what price is gonna do it's gonna play out as you've seen it let me just uh allow it to play out like that and there we go now, so this is what price is gonna do now. it's gonna play out and it will reverse in this area and because you were not uh waiting for price to reverse here you'll then be surprised when it comes and goes and smashes your stop loss you're gonna be surprised and you'll wonder why didn't my price action work because i followed all the rules i i followed all the support and resistance and even pattern breaks and everything and i entered at the right time here now the very very uh important answer or important thing that we have to note here is that as a trader or as traders we are used to looking at the price with one eye or with one perspective and here the only thing that we were looking for it was selling opportunities and we we're so blind to observe or to pay attention to minor things which can cause this anticipate anticipation to be void or which will cause it not to play out now so that's what we usually do as traders we look at the market in the view that we like or in the view that is too obvious and then we ignore the view that is so minor for an example in this case this era here and yet as a trader if you as a trader you said okay i'm gonna analyze this as a cell and i'm gonna enter here as a cell but i'm gonna keep my eye on this area then you will know that when price starts to go down here i mean when it starts to go up here you will not even panic you will start to close your trade and you'll close it on the profit side although the profits are too small but it's better than allowing your stop loss to to close all the way up there ne? so when you pay attention to these small areas you will be able to survive when the reversal comes ne? let me just drop another example here we are with uh, a very very interesting move which is going up ne? 
let me just highlight it let's say you just uh analyze this error it is going up and then let's say you trade this impulsive wave you wait for a corrective so that you enter the corrective comes you analyze the pattern and then you see the pattern coming in you wait for the breakout the breakout happens the retest comes a very very good confirmation you begin to buy né? you begin to buy and as you buy others will ignore this area but remember what i always teach when it comes to uh possible way of exiting a trade there are two possible ways né? you can pay attention first on the previous high and then pay attention on the next era which is almost the same level as the previous wave which in this case is not known let me just illustrate it with uh, maybe an arrow i will i will drag it so that you understand like that and then let's put it here so you will be anticipating to exit your trade in either of this level for example the first one is this previous high and then the second one it is that high there which is not known but we know that prices like to reverse that just as it did here because when the market is moving in a trend usually the impulsive waves are equal so we can see this impulsive wave here is equal to this impulsive wave ne? so what traders will do is that they will ignore this high and they will pay attention to their target that they are waiting for which is equal to the previous one ne? and then when the market gives you sign for example it started reversing it gave us a sign that okay this level is kind of like uh changing me changing uh the price né? this level is changing how i behave and price reacted né? and if you were paying attention as a trader you are not gonna ignore this move you're gonna say okay this is likely to be uh, a very very important level because in this previous impulsive wave we didn't see any major pause or where the market just started to go down in a significant way but here we can see it started to go down in a very very big way and this is not nothing so if you pay attention into details this is gonna tell you something as a trader and that's why we then receive a reversal around this area here because these are highs are not useless when you are analyzing a trade don't look at a trade or only an eye of a buyer saying okay i'm only looking for buying opportunities i'll ignore these minor highs or this minor resistance level these levels they influence the price so much so if you pay attention to them you will know that when the price approaches this level you'll be prepared to exit your trades i hope that is making sense and when a price when the price reverses you will not be surprised you'll not be caught by surprise but you'll be ready and you will act as you're supposed to act by cutting your uh your profits early or your losses early so i hope this is making sense so this is what you should avoid guys not that your analysis is not working your analysis works your analysis is good but make sure that you don't look the price on a single perspective pay attention into all the the the, the perspective or the dimensions of the price if you are a buyer pay attention to the possible sell sellers move if you are a seller pay attention to the next possible buyers move in that way you'll be ready when everything okay so thank you guys i'm gonna leave it here